I heard you have OCD. Well, I have OBCD. Okay, I had to get that out because people are not liking my AI bear. Shame on you. Shame on you. So I'm using my AI bear because I'm sick. I have a whole bunch of snot production coming out. And it's a little hard to, you know, uh, disguise when you're sick like I am. I haven't been sick in three years and it's not COVID. It's just I haven't been sick. And then now with life stresses, oh, my God, just life changing of working back on site and dealing with all that stuff. It definitely has taken a toll on my health. So I am a baby and I'm sick. So I just wanted to go over the voyage of civilizations with you guys because I was not liking this change of event from the wheel, right? Because I was one of those players that for 14 days I spun for free every day and would just double down on a $9.99 pack or even maybe just if I used all my coupons, I would just buy two of the $9.99 packs to get a guarantee one artifact or whatever you call these things, these statues, right? So I was just going to do the long play and do that. And I think Ebony kind of caught on and didn't want people to build up their ideal land that way. So I got lucky on this by getting a pile of coins. And a pile of coins consists of five coins. So... You're only needing two more to get one of the statues, so awesome, but you just never know when you're going to get a coin. And what I've actually found is doing this single as opposed to the tens, I've gotten the pile of coins a lot more often, but it might be triggered by how many of those spins you've actually done. So I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to say that. And also getting the pile of coins is very rare, guys. The fact that you saw me get even one coin in a pile of coins in the same you know, vicinity of each other is not a normal occurrence. So I want to put that disclaimer out because a lot of times when I show these videos, I get people in the comments that are like, oh, I bought that pack based on what I saw on here. And I just want to put that disclaimer that I don't normally get a pile of coins. So I don't know how Ebony does their little algorithm thing, but it is a lot more gamble you know, it's a lot more gambling than it was when it was with the wheel because the wheel, they had to give us the odds, right? And we knew that at certain number of spins that we would have to get this amount of statues, right? And I think this way is actually, what I have found is not terrible. I will say that, yes, I probably have invested more money than I wanted to doing it this way, but I have consistently gotten a statue each time I've spent money or spent a focus on this, right? And when I say spent money, like I'm not just talking about like $9.99, right? Like the wheel was just $9.99, you get a statue. So definitely you're going to be investing a little bit more on this different Voyage of Civilization. But what I do like about it is that you do get free chances every day, just like you did on the wheel. And you get an accumulative prize or amount of spins when you spend so many times and you get to choose which statue you want rather than having to wait rather than having to wait to see which statue comes out in, in an event now they could have easily just kept the wheel and switched out right they could have made like a chest like you know like they do for supremacy and conquest civ, civ gear where you can choose it they could have done that but I think that they wanted to get away from that guaranteed $9.99, $19.99 statue because I think they wanted people to gamble more so they, they get more money profit margin off of a statue, right? So that's that's basically it. Um, this is my ideal land, which is not very exciting. Um, it's very Marie Kondo and Feng Shi-ish, I think. And if you want to leave a comment on my ideal land, feel free. Say hi. Nobody said hi to me. It's really sad. Um, and and yeah, that's that's basically the gist of this event. Now, am I going to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? I mean, I will say that we we don't really have a choice, right? This is the only way that we can get the statues for the ideal place. So, I mean, if you if you really want to get the statues. Like, I have a thousand statues now. So now I can upgrade my ideal land to 
level three, which I wasn't able to do for a really long time. And I didn't do it for a really long time because I didn't want to invest in this because I didn't want Ebony to think that this is something that spenders want. But unfortunately, there's a lot of spenders out there that that do like this event. So we're, we're stuck with it, right? We're stuck with this event. So I'm just upgrading this really quickly because I can finish out my consumption for the construction speeds. And it's really not that much. It's really quite an affordable upgrade. So I'm happy about that. You get, you know, good little decent boosts for doing it. So I'm happy that I just got it over with. And for the next level, you're going to need 2,500 uh, points of the statues. And again, I'm not going to really go try for it. Just whenever, you know, whenever I get around to it, I'll, I'll do the voyage. What's nice about the voyage thing is that it seems to be consistent and pops up every event. Now, let's look at the top people. Now, my good friend, Pee Pee, he's usually number one. And what happened on this event is the Voyage event got delayed. It did not get released at reset. And so everybody was really upset about it because it was supposed to release. And so that guy who got number one, I guess apparently he was asking customer service like 24-7 and checking. And he he snuck up and, and got the Pee Pee. So PB might be small, but he's not the fastest right now. But I'm sure by the next event, I'm sure small PB is going to reclaim his title. And here's his ideal land. And he actually does have the most likes. So if you want to check out small PB's ideal land, make sure you go up to that top hand right corner and give a like and uh, send him a message. I think that he needs some help with the, um, the, the clutter, though. Like, I think Marie Kondo... Needs to visit his his ideal place. It's it's much better than mine. I I mean it's a lot more creative than mine. But I think he has too many statues, so he probably can't really do a whole lot with the space that he has. So, anyways, leave small PP a message, and and that's it, guys. I don't have anything exciting to share with you. Um. I'll do a couple more videos on these updates, though, not because it's particularly interesting, but because it's questions that people are asking me in my Discord chat. So please remember to join our Discord because it's a lot of fun and you're going to get to see more talking animals since people don't like it on YouTube. At least you can go to the Discord and see it and check it out there. So anyways, I will see you guys soon. I hear someone else likes breadsticks from the Olive Garden, and her name rhymes with Bathfire, hint, hint. And do I look chunky to you? Too many breadsticks.